Welcome back YouTube. Today's video is going to be something new, a little bit something uh, different than what I usually put on the channel, but I'm excited for it. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I've been wanting to do kind of reviews or just talk about tech. My name's Technique. It only makes sense. I love talking tech. I love sharing information about tech. But I couldn't really decide what to talk about or I couldn't come up with anything really too informative that would be worth shooting a video for. But that has changed. I believe I got something that will help a few people, hopefully, maybe. And yeah, so welcome to the first episode of Tech Talk with Technique. Um, today we're going to be talking about your mirrorless or DSL camera and how it works with a Elgato cam link and possible issues you might run into in OBS. So let's get into it. All right, so if you're a streamer or a content creator, you're probably using a, a generic webcam, webcam like this. This is my old Logitech C920. Uh, very good, very useful and resourceful little thing to to be using as a beginning slash smaller streamer or content creator. But everyone knows that the an, an upgrade to that to, to go above and beyond is buy a mirrorless or DSLR camera can hook it up to your computer to be your webcam. Uh, to do this, though, you're going to need some form of video transfer device you can either use like a capture card or Elgato released their Elgato cam link which is basically just a small USB version of a capture card and that's what a lot of people use when they are trying to connect their nice camera to their computer so I myself picked up a mirrorless camera I have a Sony a6000 um, I guess just off the top of the head real quick yeah, I would recommend it to anyone who's looking to get a camera. It's really nice so far. I, I like how it looks and it takes great pictures. My, my wife and I split it. She uses it to take pictures for her slash mine Instagram and I use it to stream. So, you know, we want halves on it, save a little money instead of paying for it straight up myself. But it's definitely a nice camera. Um, I have it hooked up to an Elgato cam link going into my stream PC. And I was really excited to use it. But when I first started using it, we ran into a little bit of an issue, and that issue is what we're going to talk about today. So the issue I was running into, um, whether I was streaming or it even works when I tried record, it's whenever OBS is active, I guess you could say. It, it's, it's fine when sitting here idle, but if I try to stream or record, the issue I run into five to seven to ten minutes into the stream or recording, the camera would freeze. Everything else was working fine, but my camera, my picture, I was just frozen, completely solid. And I was very disappointed and very sad that this was happening because I was really excited to have a nice new camera for the stream to bump up the quality, but it couldn't last more than 10 minutes. And I was pretty, pretty upset. But fear not, if you are running into the same issue and you were or still are as frustrated as I know I was, I have a fix for you guys today and you can thank me later. So from what I understand, the issue that's going on that will cause the camera to freeze is that your USB ports are kind of getting overworked. There's too much information coming into the ports and it will cause things to break. And for me, it seems like it's picking my cam link to break. Uh, my capture card still works. All my other, my mouse, my keyboard, my stream deck, everything continues to work. It just picks my camera to stop. So some people suggest to to buy a USB port um, extender or, or, or an extra dock to give your PC some some relief. Um, my fix, uh, I'm pretty sure my fix takes the strain off your USB ports, but without having to spend any money on any extra peripherals to add to your computer. So what you're going to want to do is make sure you have the Elgato CamLink software downloaded, the 4K capture utility. Um, when you buy the device, it shows, it tells you how to do it all in the box, but I'll put a link in the description below to take you to this application because you're going to need this application to make your fix. So head into the 4K capture utility device. Here you see it. it. Um, fix is very simple. All we're going to do is 
um, up here on the settings, the cogwheel, the, the open preferences, make sure you hold control down on your keyboard and click into the settings. I don't know why holding control does this, but when you hold control to open the settings, it gives you this extra line here, this USB transfer mode. If you don't hold control down, this line will not pop up. You need this line to pop up. So make sure you hold control and click that cog wheel. What you're going to do is the cam link comes um, default to bulk. You're going to want to change it to isochronous. Now I'm not completely sure what the difference is between these two settings. I did a quick little bit of research and from what I understand, all I kind of gathered is um, bulk setting. It takes up all the available, all the available bandwidth that's left over after all your other devices uh, ha have used it. So it gobbles up anything possible. Whereas ISO, it allocates a certain amount of uh, bandwidth to the cam link. So bulk takes up everything that's available. ISO is given a dedicated number. And I assume giving the cam link that dedicated number stops it from overloading your USB ports and stops the freezing. So that is all you need to do. Change that setting from bulk to ISO. It sets your cam link at a certain number for your bandwidth. And it's, it's been working for me. I've been using it for about a month and I haven't had a single issue. I've actually, I did pick up a USB port just because I had a gift card to Best Buy. So I picked up a USB port because my stream PC is getting pretty loaded up with, with things. So I want to give it some, some space and breathing room. So I picked up a USB port and before recording this video, I actually did try putting the cam link back over to bulk because some of my USB devices have been taken out of the PC. So I thought maybe it could handle bulk and I, it couldn't, it still froze seven minutes into a recording of the cam, the camera froze. So swapped it back over to ISO and here we are recording this video and everything's going fine. So that that's it. That's the video. Um, finally something informative and useful for you guys. I believe this ISO, um, Kronos tip, I, did not see anywhere online. Everyone, if they're talking about your cam link freezing, they just talk about getting a USB hub, taking that bandwidth strain off your computer, this and that, but they don't talk about that ISO Cronus change, which is very simple, very easy, and it's free. You don't have to go buy a, a hub or anything. So if you're having, if your camera is freezing, your cam link is freezing in OBS or um, Streamlabs OBS, I'm pretty sure it works for that too. I'm not sure I use OBS, but I can only see it working the same way in Streamlabs OBS. Just head into that 4K utility software, control click on that cog wheel, change the USB transfer from bulk to ISO and you should be good to go. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to like and subscribe. Also ring that bell to get notifications of when more videos go live. If you guys want me to talk about more tech things, leave a comment below. Uh, about things you need help with or things you have more questions with about the cam link obs or anything streaming wise in general i've been at it for a while so i like to think i'm somewhat informed so if you need any help with anything leave a comment below and i'll do my best to make a video to assist you with your needs um also shameless plug i stream monday and wednesday friday over on twitch.tv slash technique around 8 p.m eastern time i will leave a link to that in the description below if you want to come chat with me live ask me questions live you can do that um, I love to interact with everyone in my chat. So if you just want to come ask me straight up while I'm live, head over there and uh, catch me. Catch me when I'm live.